Oh, good morning. We're here at the Cumberland Mine Railroad at Bridge 4. Uh, Sunday morning here, August 9th. And uh, I was just tamping the, the bridge approach. I'll show you that in a little bit. I, we got, uh, we replaced a, had a contractor come in this uh, last week here. We had to shut down and replace this entire bridge deck. And uh, it used to be they'd tear everything out, all the rails and everything. Um, now, what they do, it's, it's a lot easier and it goes a lot quicker. There's a lot of timbers. This is, a, this is the longest bridge we have, Bridge 4. We're here in Gerard's Fort. But what they do now, see this uh, bridge girder down here? It goes there. They'll uh, actually take, pull the spikes here and uh, spread these ties a little bit, put a, put a track jack in here, pick the rail up on both rails, and they have a apprentice loader, and they'll go out there with a grapple hook and just drag that uh, the timber straight out. So it goes a lot quicker rather than the way they used to do it, was just tear everything out. The rail's already in, and they just got to put the uh, tap. I want you to look at these rubber pads, too. That helps absorb the shock. This is a rubber pad under here. And, uh, they did a really good job replacing this bridge. See this here? This here is a. Uh, I can't get underneath, but it's, it's a J bolt, and it goes down on these long timbers to go across, hold the decking on. Not every timber is a long timber, as you can see, but uh, it's called a J bolt, and it goes down and hooks underneath this uh, steel girder. These are, these are called the bridge guards. I, uh, I think uh, the uh, timbers for this bridge, we got them from Appalachia Timber. There's a couple piles of the old timbers. The local farmer uh, here in George Fort wanted them. But the timbers alone just for this bridge were around 150000 And the installation <coughs> was... Uh, Around 150 to 175 thousand. This is pretty neat here. What they do now, they have main timber, timber, and they have this creosoted uh, board in here. It's actually uh, lagged into or nailed into this timber, and that uh, we're over top of a road, and that keeps the uh, the uh, coal and stuff from falling down onto the road. See the road here. I got my tamper out this morning. So. Here we're at, uh, this is White Covered Bridge. Uh, you want to look up on the internet sometime, the Covered Bridge Festival at uh, Greene County. This is one place where they had, it was a bunch of covered bridges here in uh, Greene County and Washington County, and they have a Covered Bridge Festival every year, but I'm not sure if they're going to have one uh, this year here or not that's kind of up in the air yet they've canceled a few of the covered bridges festivals so far but they got tents and all kind of vendors back in the field back there but uh, that bridge was rebuilt probably about uh, 12 13 14 years ago pretty neat to have these old covered bridges around so Got my uh, buddy down here in the regulator. He's filling in for me. I'll, uh, a little bit low off of this bridge was. I made one pass on it, and it's looking pretty good right now. The, uh, the bridge is called a bridge approach. But it's a. Uh, it was a little bit low right in through here, and I picked it up, especially that joint there at the uh, milepost. We're at milepost six five sign but uh, okay um, of course these are lags these are lag screws down into the uh, for the bridge guards don't know if there's a whole else a lot to uh, want to show you on this bridge other than one thing uh, this tie here got a little bit skewed can you, can you see the notch down in there all the all these timbers are notched to fit down in there so they don't slide back and forth I hope you can see that 
so. Alrighty, we're going to get off of here. And thanks for watching and have a really good day.